Let's bring in our first guest of the day, snowboarder Andy Finch. Andy, yeah, how's Hello, it going? Chuck. What do you think about the black water? Pretty neat, right? How much black MP did you put in your coffee this morning? No, uh, I don't. I, I don't put any black coffee in my MP. In, in, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andy, you're you're famous, dude. <laughs> How long have you been snowboarding? Uh, since '93, roughly 21 years, something like that. You, you, you've been you've been snowboarding. 21 years ago, snowboarding wasn't as very big. It was more kind of the outcast kids that uh, we're getting into a little bit with. Was it skateboarders? At heart, or maybe surfers at heart. Okay. I think the Did you do, you do that too, right? I kind of just got on the board bandwagon about that time, and it was everything. Wakeboarding, skateboarding, surfing, snowboarding, kiteboarding, anything you could stand sideways. What did you do before that? Were you always the rat, the radical kid? <laughs> Were you on the the BMX BMX bikes doing well, all this? My aunt Don taught me how to climb things at the age of three, and since then I've been jumping off stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Do you grew up in the mountains, or you grew up down here? I grew up in the Fresno Valley, right here. Fresno. You're 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 at Bullard Knight, yeah, aren't you? I am. That's scary. Nine. <laughs> now, so you get it, you get into the into the s snowboarding, and did it immediately come easy to you? Man, Did you start flipping around? I don't know around? if it had to do with the first day we went and just being bulletproof ice and death cookies everywhere. What? You to what? Death cookies. What's a death cookie? <laughs> it is a chunk of snow, more or ice that is so big and in the way that it knocks you over and takes you out and makes you like black it's like and blue. A, a speed bump. Yeah, but worse. Kind of worse. Yeah, because you <laughs> tend to land on them and they they do some damage. And we were hitting them all day. And my dad and I had a rough day. We started together, and then the next time we went was fresh powder. Different story. Game on. And, and so when you say game on, uh, are you talking half pipe game on or down the mountain game on? <laughs> Making turns game on. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> all right, we're Being not, able to avoid not stuff, catching your edge right? and just slamming so hard that you think you're in two pieces. Yeah. Awesome. And when did, when did, when did snowboarding start to get recognized as a sport? <clears throat> That's debatable. Let's, uh, let's go right around 90. Eight when it made the Olympics. Okay, so ninety-eight it made the Olympics. Did, were you, did you make the Olympics? Two thousand six. Two thousand six, you did. So it, 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 about five years you're into it, uh, ninety-three to ninety-eight, and they, they start recognizing it as an Olympic sport. Did you say, I think I could be an Olympian at this? You know, I. It's funny if we go back even before I started snowboarding, I had little school work that I wrote out like I wanted to be some world something or other skier back then or. You know, before I even knew what snowboarding was. So I think it was just rooted deep in me long before it even existed. So. Wow. You know, I have uh, papers from when I was a kid. I wanted to be president. Could you imagine? <laughs> I'd vote for you. I, I think I think I'd be a good president. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so you, you you get into the snowboarding and, and and then what? Like sponsors start coming up. I think that's just like, serious? well, you see all these guys in the magazines, videos that were sponsored, and, and it's like, as a kid, it's like, oh my gosh, are you sponsored? You know, they throw out the S word everywhere, and uh, it, they were the ones that made it possible and as far as support. So, as a young kid, like, I, I bugged companies for two years before I finally got a company, and you always start as a flow rider. They flow you product. You know, that's... Some swag. Some swag. And yeah. so you That was my first company I wrote for, Swag and Palmer. They were actually called Swag. No kidding. <laughs> so so you, you you start getting this really really serious about it. I mean, cuz you, you stop working and just doing snowboarding all the time? Well, I'd say at the beginning I had to work to snowboard. I mean, mm -hmm. I'd, in fact in 95 I worked all summer at my dad's business out in uh, Fryant and just to save enough money to go to one week at Mount Hood Snowboard Camp. Wow. So I could snowboard for a month during the, uh, a week during the summer. Awesome. Now, you know, I, I had your mom on the show not long ago. She did great. She did good really job, good. Yeah, that was yeah, awesome. Yeah, she did really, really good. killed it. I was and, impressed. Uh, I told her on the show, I go, you know what I tell people? I tell Andy Finch is my Central Valley Sean White. Do you know Sean White? <laughs> yeah, I've uh, known him since he was about seven or eight years old. Who's better? He is by far. No, come on, really? I had, I I've had, seen some of the stuff you do. I had my years where I, I beat him, you know. But, I mean, there's also a generation gap between us. I mean, he's eight years younger. So, I mean, we kind of hit our prime at different times for sure. But we had our days where we competed against each other for a long time. Do you still compete? 
I retired three years ago. Yeah. I'm old and broken. I'm running out of spare parts. Believe it or not. <laughs> I bet. Nine major surgeries, man. How many? Good, nine. What, 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 what did you break? Uh, well, it's mainly ligaments and tendons. My bones are strong as can be, but uh, so your I, knees, everything that holds them together just your keeps knees hurting. Apart. Knees? I had three surgeries on my knee and good well, old fast over Wait, I've had a knee surgery <laughs> and there's no darn way that you would get me on skis because it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. To hurt, when you blow out a knee, it hurts. A lot of physical therapy. I mean, I was always dealing. I rode injured for 14 years. I mean, just constantly are well, icing I, and therapy. You and, love it so much that you ride when you're, even though you're hurting? Not so much anymore. Like, it, things have changed. Why do you think I retired? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, it's, I don't know. I didn't care. Well, what I, I love snowboarding that what much. What does Andy Finch do when he when he retires? Just lose on Amazing Race? I, I, thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. oh, no. It happens. That, that's exact. No, I, I did. I retired and instantly went on the amazing race and, and lost. Yeah, killer. <laughs> but wait a minute, I, I, you didn't. You didn't like lose. You did pretty good. Oh, I was. We had a great time. You were down to South America. We didn't go to. Oh, we went to Central America, uh, Panama. Panama. Right. That's where we finished. Yeah. And, and so, it, who was your partner? Tommy Shishin. He went to the 2002 Olympics. Uh, great half pipe rider. We were on the U.S. team for a long time, and we just. I mean, it might have been our weakness, but we're exactly the same. We well, love I'm, like, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, two Olympians, and they lose the amazing race to some just regular mortals. <laughs> but I will, I'll tell you this. God showed up on that show. There was times when we should have been eliminated, and we'd win. There was other times, where, well, is it, is we it, were out in the, in the lead when we got eliminated. We were way out in front, and then we got kind of a bump steer, and, and then the taxi drivers collaborated with each other, and... And, you know, that's out of your hands. They let the girls win. Well, girls first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, in this case, right? The, well, the, this, the amazing race. <laughs> Maybe I, I feel like they make it look a lot easier than it is on TV. The, the hardest thing with amazing race is you don't know where you are, you don't know what you're looking for, and you don't know where you're going. And a lot of people really struggle with the food you're eating and lack of sleep because you can't just – it's like you're on a Are they schedule. running you constantly? Yeah. Yeah, you're constantly running. The accommodations are probably pretty Which good. Which I'm used to. I mean, I used to pack two bags at, for one, you know, I'd go on a trip, come home for two hours, grab a bag, the other one, and then, you know, always packing a few bags at a time. In fact, I did that for this trip. Packed for Fresno, Nicaragua, and Morro Bay before I go home. You, I'm, when, I'm when on the first leg of the trip. Nic Nicaragua? I go on uh, 6 a.m. the first. And the uh, to, to snowboard? I'm surfing and we're building, mountains there, we're you building know. A, a pizza oven for a village and doing some electrical work. And you, You're building a pizza oven for a village? Yeah. Out of what? Clay and rock, uh, stone. Do you do that now? Is I that part of little, I did build houses this summer, actually. Like, I love construction. I just, it's definitely physically demanding. You don't need a... Uh, Gym membership, that's for sure. Do you uh, you, you still uh, work at the topiary? I haven't. I mean, being up in, I'm a Truckee boy now. Four oh, hours do you live north. in Truckee? I live in Truckee, yeah, yeah. Le last 11 years. But um, I le learned a lot of valuable skills out at the topiary zoo in front. Yeah, welding, cutting down weeds, trimming. Just, just working, like, huh? You know, pulling little Edward scissor hands. Now, when you when you live up in Truckee, there, there's, there's some snow available up there. How We're, often do you get out? a little out? bit. Uh, I, so now I ride when it's soft. You know, the, those hard conditions really, like you're talking about the pain that you mm -hmm. feel. I, I feel that now. So if it's powder, it's all good. It's like floating on a cloud. Because no you ride on top of it. You're floating. Okay. Yeah, it's good. You're still doing you the flips and top. stuff? Absolutely. I'm still, a, I don't know, acrobatic rat at heart. Okay, we got a video right here of some of the stuff that you do. Do you recognize the video that's on the, on the left right there? Oh, yes. And yeah. what, tell me about this. Okay, so we, I was doing uh, a gig for Sochi as a snowboard analyst for three weeks, and Russia was just the wild, wild east. It was crazy. Um, and it snowed a bunch. The Black Sea's right there. And I don't know if they'd ever seen skateboarders before because I got some weird looks from the, the police around there as I was bombing hills. But I went skateboarding, surfing. You are bombing hills? You just going, yeah, you go straight and kind of mm -hmm. carve down. I get it. I can dig it. Bit by dogs. I actually got bit by a dog there. That was fun. In Russia? Yeah. yeah what but kind I went, of dog? But not to me. Tell me a little can... tiny poodle or something. <laughs> it was a German Shepherd. Yeah. They liked me. But it was <laughs> a, the only a few places in the world you can do this. So I went skateboarding, surfing, and snowboarding in the same day. And it was good surf. Good All right. Surf. I got to see this. Check it out. I'm Andy Finch. Board in Sochi. The <laughs> Sweet. Sweet.
Wait a minute. Were you doing that with a selfie stick? Yeah, that's all the GoPro POV Do you stuff. know in LA this year, the number one gift that everyone was giving was the selfie stick? He's trendsetter! I know, That's right? a trendsetter! Wow, you're amazing. Does a free shirt, selfie shirt come with that? No, <laughs> no. I, 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 had a, I had a period where I didn't go anywhere without my selfie, selfie stick. Selfie tie, selfie tie. I, I like I like your style, Andy Finch. Right there, All right, uh, <laughs> now what, what, what do you what do you do now? What, what, what? That's a good question. I kind of just things from here and there. Uh, property management. I do commentating for snowboarding. Uh, I share the gospel at outreaches. Just a barrage of things. I definitely still snowboard. Awesome. A lot of surfing. Awesome. Uh, did you teach kids how to do it? Uh, or can occasionally, you? Occasionally. Can you teach them? I've been teaching you gotta, a long you gotta time. you got to have it up here, though, right? I've been teaching a very long time, wakeboarding, all of the sports sports. Um, but it, it tests your patience. Mm -hmm. It's a tough, because you're not out riding. You're, you're kind of just standing around. It takes a certain kind of person, I, I kind of need to just keep going and going. You, you know what that's about. I, 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 I do, buddy. <laughs> Andy Finch, good to see you, buddy. Awesome. Thanks Thank for coming by. Happy New Year's to you. Hey, Happy New Year. Have fun in Nicaragua. Hey, we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. Stick around.